we've had some tough losses, and that, that's probably one of the bigger ones. You know, and it, it all come down to how you lost it. So, you know, I'm not going to have a pity party. I'm going to try to treat my team better. Hey, Coach, just walk me through that final drive. What, what did you see from the sidelines? Um, just kind of what broke down there. I know it's a blur for you. Well, I mean, I think their players made plays. And all, every one of the throws were contested. Um, you know, and, and great ball beats great coverage. I mean, the same way in the end zone with Mike Ford, he had it right on him all over him. The guy's 6'5", 220, and that really difficult matchup. It should have just never got there. Uh, two score lead in the fourth quarter. We had a four minute drive. And uh, offensively, uh, you know, we ran like a minute off the clock and then get it right back to him. You just can't do that. Now, obviously, this game starts with the opening play uh, for the touchdown, for the first play of the game. Uh, I mean, that's kind of a bad break for just in terms of when you look at it hindsight. Well, what, you know, how, does that, how does that play in now? I think it's just like our team. We're, we're, not a, we're not a smart football team. We're an undisciplined football team. We got cover three, old school country cover three. You don't let anybody behind you because you your lack of discipline. You look in the backfield, and that's what happens. And it, and it wasn't just, just Mike on that one play. You could say that about uh, the personal foul on the last drive, a uh, late hit. I mean, you know, it's the same thing that got us last week. Um, it wasn't as bad as last week because of the procedure penalties and all that got cleaned up. It was it was more of the uh, you know personal foul type stuff. Uh, and you look at missed opportunities. Um, you have the eleven point lead. You're trying to go for up two, uh, up fourteen. Uh, Ryan misses the field goal. Um, Hindsight again, I mean, it's another, another thing that you kind of look back at. And yeah. Make them having to score two true touchdowns would have been the difference. And it had the leg. I mean, it was it was close. And, you know, um, had to do it over again. I kick it. You know, there's no, no doubt you kick it there. Just we didn't make it. Defensively, you guys made some plays throughout the night. Uh, what changed on that last drive? Did you guys change anything? As far as how you approach that drive? No, uh, I mean we, we had to several. Uh, you know we had a fourth and ten. We had I mean it was just their players made those plays. I mean really it was the same. Um, I think uh, you got to make your own breaks. I mean outside of that big play, your defense is you know, lost three points for the rest of the first half. I mean just you know, what, what do you take away from what you saw from the defense? I mean they have an explosive offense. Really. Yeah. I mean, it's, it was the same thing. I think uh, it, uh, if we get them stopped there and get off the field, we feel great. But since we didn't, we don't feel very good. Um, but still come down to there's some missed tackles and there was uh, some big plays that was an emphasis this week because that's what happened to SIU. Um, now, we cut the big plays way down. It was just one. And, and I guess SIU was more than that. When you play good teams, I think the United States a good football team. Like it, it, the margin for error is so small, you can't make those mistakes that we made. When you took the lead there, did it feel like the team maybe took a, like kind of a, a breath of fresh air and got it just kind of felt a little bit more relaxed? Or, yeah. Do you, you feel like it, it maybe would have changed some things on it in terms of? Uh, I guess it, not even so much like the play calling or anything, but you would have been maybe a little bit more aggressive in the fourth quarter there. Or do you feel like you guys were more aggressive? I'll have to watch the film. Uh, but you penalty pretty good game in terms of penalties there, but I mean, you kind of played you there at the end. Um, obviously, those are sort of effort things uh, in terms of what, what you see for the penalties there, but late in the game kind of affected uh, that final drive. Well, it was the, the dead ball late hit thing that was just just killed you. I know, you know, if he could do it again, he'd never do it again, but the problem is it can't happen. Uh, running game, uh, it seemed like you relied on some more guys there, piecing that together. Um, you got two guys with the first kind of career touchdowns. How big is that for the confidence that you? It's good. You know, we need a lot of tailbacks, and we were able to get a lot in there. And they were uh, it was good. To, those guys got to see the end zone, um, and uh, I think that our O line did another good job of, of moving them up front. Can you, you, you identify one specific thing that you feel like contributed to the way? Those, that those final few minutes played out? We should never be in it. 
we didn't take care of the stuff before that. Okay, because once you get in there and you got the ball to two minutes, it could go either way, right? You know, one missed tackle and you lose the game. So you have to do the thing before you even got to two minutes. Or if they got the ball, they only had 40 seconds left instead of two minutes. You know, it's, it's the stuff we didn't take care of before the last drive that made us lose the game. Jesse Hoskett, uh, it might be probably the best game I've seen him play. Yeah. What did you, you say about I felt the same way. You can see him getting better. You can see him grow really uh, contested. Uh, balls and he threaded them in there pretty good. I thought our White House caught the ball really well. Um, you know, um, I think all in all, I'd have been really pleased if we had just been able to finish the game out, you know, in that fourth quarter. And he didn't settle in, too. I mean, it wasn't a, another one of those situations where he kind of had to settle into the game. I mean, he, he, he was, you know, kind of crisp right from the start. I think yeah. it was it was great. I mean, like I said, there, there wasn't any procedure penalties. There wasn't any anything like that. I know, what, what is the uh, mentality with this guy? Only three here. You guys have played some tight games. Uh, look at last week and this week. Um, you know, how's this team going to pick up and move forward? And obviously, these guys feel like they Well, it, you know, this is tough. This is a tough loss. I mean, they're, they're, those kids are as hurting as I've ever seen because they really, really want to win. Um, they believe we can be a good football team, and they're just really frustrated that we're not. And so, like I told them, at the end of the day, if we win this game and lose this game, what did that change? You know, it's still going to be about Murray and the OBC, uh, regardless. And at the end of the day, you know, the papers and, and people will start, you know, doubting this football team as they should, because we're on three and, and all that. But we got 25 seniors, okay? We can be a good football team if we take care of the things that we're in control of, and that'll just be my message. You know, I'm not giving up on this team. I still want to go in there tomorrow and coach them. Um, it's just going to be a, a tough sandwich to eat tomorrow. It's filling us. Uh, because, you, you know, it's a lot of stuff I'm cooking with. Anything uh, to take away from it being your home over there? Would you like the, the energy, the energy of being back? Yeah, I thought it was a great crowd. I thought campus was hopping, and the end zone looked great. Just so disappointed that I haven't been able to you know, get this team to where it needs to be. And, you know, I got to find a way to get it done. Right, and, uh, offensively, you know, what's it like for you to have a running back committee where you know the carries are really split out, unlike last year, where it seemed like uh, I got one guy to get 20, 25 carries. What's that mean for the offense in the first or short quarterback? And not well, it's just depth, you know, and we got good depth at running back because um, of injuries. You know? Yeah, uh, I think. Uh, both uh, Cam and uh, Will Young had ankle injuries, and they were hobbling there uh, towards the end of the game. And so having that depth was really uh, an asset tonight. And how about Tremaine? You know, he had 100, you know, I think 13 all purpose yards tonight. What's it like for him? You know, last year, you know, we had the Michael, and then he was to kind of play that same role receiving and that running back. What's it like, you know, to have him just? Fill that role. Well, he's excited with the ball in his hands. He's able to make get open there a little bit. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're super glad he's on our football team. He's, he's a great kid, a tough competitor, and uh, you know, he, he's having a hard time even walking right now. Not because of the injury, but just he's so he wanted this so bad. And so that's that's my job as a coach is to try to get the team back. Yeah, and then, you know, uh, you know, after that first touchdown, the first play, your defense really, you know, stiffened him up, you know, and only allowed like, like, three points in that, uh, uh, you know, like 100, only 100 yards, you know, they got a lot of tips at the line, scrimmage and everything. What did you like seeing from the defense? Well, I think there's a, we were great on third down. I don't know what we ended up. Yeah. It was probably less than 30%. Yeah. So, I mean, and they were talented. I mean, that was really, really good to see. Mm -hmm. um, but, but I did think they ran the ball on us better than – Probably anybody has up to this year, and we seem seem pretty tired out there. Yeah, and I noticed on some coverages uh, that you got the, uh, some of the defensive backs or defenders. You know, they uh, didn't you know locate the ball. They kind of just you know ran uh, went you know where the receiver was going. What are you guys? What are you going to have them kind of work on next week? Maybe the I don't know. You know, maybe late game. You know, just trying to prepare for that. Well, the plan to win is the same. Uh, you know. 
we gave up the big play and uh, we'll continue to work reception point. There's a lot of reception point plays today that they made. And then we made some too. I mean, yeah. put the air in pretty good. You got to give credit to, to Indiana State. Yeah, and you know, going to your air game, you know, Oscar, yeah, I think he had 24 attempts tonight. You know, looked really good. Had completed over 60% of his balls. What do you like to see from him out now in the game three? I'll, I'll watch the film, but I'll yeah. just continue to, to uh, you know, improve. And, There'll be little things, um, but I was really proud of the way he's playing and um, you know, not turning it over. Yeah, and overall, um, you know, like you said, you haven't watched film and everything, but you said, you know, teams, um, you, you said, you know, a little undisciplined and everything. What are you really going to have them focus on this next week in practice? Well, there will be five or six things, but, it, but it's all about playing smart. Yeah. Realizing the situation that, that we're in, what, what's the worst thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we fight our guts out to get the two-point, two-score lead, and then we just let a team come back. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think it's still that same thing. You know, I've won a lot where I've ever been. Mm -hmm. This team still hasn't. It hasn't since I've been here. A lot of players in there, they don't know quite how to, how to win. And it's going to come down to those plays, and we got to be able to make those plays, to stay poised, and not make the mistakes. You talked about the running back depth. What, what goes into kind of your decisions on the sideline as far as who's going in, when, and things like that? It, you know, there's a little bit just see how the game's going, how they're feeling, depending on the drive. Uh, we feel like. Uh, all three will, will get in and play, and it just kind of depends on what it goes. Um, today, it was because of some health issues with Will and his ankle. Um, it seemed like you uh, got the ball to Tremaine a lot on third down today, and it was something that, that worked well for you guys out on the final numbers, but third down offensively was pretty solid yeah, tonight. The uh, best we've been. Yeah, what, what is it about uh, what he can do for you guys that makes him dangerous in third down? Well, we can line him up anywhere, you know, and so like one of the third downs, we had him matched up on a linebacker because he was a, he was a running back, and, and obviously that was a very great scenario. Then another long pass, he was out of wide out, and we ran up with four birds with him, so he's just a multiple player that you can line up in a lot of different places to get the ball. Uh, 